I saw <clears throat> the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Latin Basilica, the oldest church in the world, the mother church, the church of Rome, the city of Rome, where the Pope, after being consecrated Pope, would go and to the Latin Basilica as it was the Cathedral Church of Rome. So we pray for the people of Rome, we pray for our Holy Father Pope Francis on this very special feast, that he will continue being the great and good leader that he is. We ask the Lord to help us too as we prepare for this celebration, that we too can be leaders in our own right, in trying always to do the will of God, and ask for his forgiveness now for those times we fail. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, or receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastward, since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate, where the water flowed on the right-hand side. He said, This water flows east down to Arabah and to the sea, and flowing into the sea it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health and life, teams wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither, and fruit that never fails. 
They will bear f- new fruit every month, because this water comes from the sanctuary, and their fruit will be good to eat, and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in times of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on earth. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. You are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundations on which someone else is doing the building. Everyone doing the building must work carefully for the foundation. Nobody can lay any other than the one which has already been laid, that is Jesus Christ. Didn't you realize that you were God's temple and that the Spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him, because the temple of God is sacred, and you are that temple. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, for my name to be there forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple he found people selling cattle and, sh- and sheep and pigeons. And the money changers sitting, there at their ca- sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here, and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy the sanctuary, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so we celebrate the feast or the anniversary of the Mother Church, the St. John Lateran in Rome, built on an old fort in the 4th century and, of course, handed over to the, to the Pope so that they could build this new church. And of course, it is used as the mother church of Rome, where the Pope, as Bishop of Rome, will take his seat, as well as taking his seat in St. Peter's as the leader of the whole church. Jesus, we see what he does with the way 
the people were making use of the temple and using it as a marketplace and driving them out because he reminds them that the temple is the place of God. It's a place where each and every one of us pray, the same as our churches. We come to the church with great dignity, with great respect. Our church is the house of God. And of course, the Blessed Sacrament is always there for us so that we can come and kneel down and pray or stand and pray if we wish or even sit and pray. But it is a very, very special place. But Jesus is not only talking about a building as a temple of God. He's talking about us, how we must respect ourselves and always treat ourselves in the knowledge that Almighty God created us and loves us and wants us all always to do good. And so it's for us to have the respect of our bodies, to have the respect of our churches, and to use the churches for prayer. Use the churches for the sacraments. Sadly, we have the difficulty with the virus that we can't have the people here for our Mass. Very, very sad indeed. But we know you're watching online and we thank you and we pray that each and every one of us realize the importance of prayer and joining in the celebration. Even if we cannot be there physically, we can at least see it and experience the love that the Lord has for us through the Eucharist. And so we ask everyone, if they can, to watch and join in the Mass in these terrible times that we're having and pray that the virus will leave us and that we can come back to some kind of normality and the pe welcome the people into our church, into the sacred house of God. All of us must also realize that God is within us and that's why we must always have the respect for ourselves and do what the Lord asks to keep God's commandments, to love God and to love our neighbor. And so we pray, and we ask the Lord to listen to our prayers as we pray for the repose of the soul of Victor Mabida, whose anniversary is today, and for whom we're offering this Mass. We remember all his family at this time. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our own Bishop Allen, our priests and our deacons, our seminarians, our religious, all who are trying to lead the people closer to God. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. <coughs> we pray to Lord for our community. We ask you, Lord, to bless them, to help them to survive through this virus. Let us remember especially our scientists, our doctors, our nurses and carers, all involved in trying to find a cure for this terrible virus that's around us. 
Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Let us pray for our schools as they continue welcoming the students and the children that they will continue guiding and helping them all throughout their lives. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. You are the giver of all good gifts and the pattern for our living. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Let us ask Mary to pray with us and for us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers. Help us always to make our churches a welcome place for all who enter so that each and every one of us can join together in prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities, cleanse us all of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments, and the answer to their prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your be benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that, rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and had willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pray especially for all the names on our November lists here on the altar, for all our loved ones and for the holy souls. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Perceive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Be built up like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Let us pray, O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by partaking of this sacrament we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. And just to remind you that we will have private prayer from 6 o'clock to 6.30 this evening.